Hello ladies and llamas and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's VR. This is one of my favorite games ever. This game is so good. Um, it's an amazing experience. It has almost all of the uh, content from most of the games, the already existing games, in it. And yeah, it's really cool. Now the graphics and stuff on here don't look quite as good as they do on like PlayStation VR or PC VR just because um, it's all running through this headset right here and it's a lot of textures to load and it wants you to have a smooth experience. So as you can see here, oh hey, hey Freddy, oh, it's always creepy how all their eyes just follow you. It's so cool. And then they got him back there, same thing, his head slowly moves too. Heck yeah. So I love this little starting area too, it's awesome. But like right here, you can see like this string, it really, you can see it doesn't look like a, a nice string, it's more like chunky. That's just because it has trouble loading that in. But it's still an awesome experience and looks really good, like the shadows and stuff look awesome on the quest too. So, um, let's just go right into it. I've already beat the whole game, so we're just gonna beat it again, because why not? So it shouldn't be me trying to figure stuff out too much, because you know, I've already done it. Um, yeah, so here's the awesome menu. See, I already got him. There's all the coins. I got all the tapes, all that stuff. Super fun. I'm sure you've seen some of this game. This is year three of it being out. So, but here we are in the awesome uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 location area. And we can also hop up and down for uh, one, one level in part three, or game three. There's a part where you need to hop up. So, as you can see, we click through here, we got, we got Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, 3, and then Dark Rooms. This is kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Uh, this one is Sister Location character, and so is this one. Um, then we got Parts on Service. This is only mentioned in the game, but you, and in Sister Location, you have to repair Funtime Freddy. But we have <clears throat> all these characters, so that's super cool. Vent Repair, this is something that I don't think was in any of the already existing games. I mean, you, sure, you have to repair stuff and do it, but I, there's nothing quite like this. And these are both really, really cool. As far as I know, I've, it's been a while since I've played most of them. Uh, and then this, this is, uh, these are, all four of these are in this Five Nights at Freddy's 4 location in that bedroom. Uh, very cool. This one, and it, well, this one is kind of hard. This one's kind of difficult. These, the rest aren't that bad, but, but it's the, sorry if you hear dogs barking in the background too, but it's, uh, these right here, the this one, and this one. These are so difficult. Oh my goodness, they're so annoying. And then we have this switch. It's nightmare mode. So if we switch it, this awesome music plays, and it it just looks so looks so cool. It looks like everything's like glow in the dark. It's so cool. Love the music too. It's so creepy. But now we have a uh, nightmare mode for that. Nightmare mode for these. There's two for Venice Phrase two. One for three. Dark rooms. All of them have a nightmare mode, which is a pain because, like, this is so difficult. Obviously, I beat them all here, as you can see, but these are so fun, though. Oh, my goodness, they're so much fun. That's normally my go-to. These, they're so cool. And Vent Repair has them. And then this is the final level in the game. And then on top of all that, we're not going to do that today. We're going to try to play this a mini-part thing and finish the whole game. But we have the Curse of Dreadbear, which is a really fun DLC. I still haven't beaten all that yet. I really need to get grinding on that. I've beaten most of it, or, you know, a decent amount. But that's for another time. We're just going to jump right into night one of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Uh, we're probably going to play, depending on the time, we'll play, like, I don't know, two, two of the nights in this video. And then, yeah, we'll keep going from there. So... Ooh, we got phone guy. Hello, hello. Hello. If you don't know this coin here, just a little guide there. There's one there. So it's just like Five Nights at Freddy's 1. The only difference is that the camera is always on. That's different. You can't turn it off. In the original one, you can turn it off. Super cool. Okay, and then light. It's so cool. We can literally walk over here. Oh, shoot! Ah! Oh! Oh! <gasps> what? What? Okay. I don't know how. I turned that door off in time. That got me. I've never seen him come out that early in this. And this is night one? What? They're all still there. Oh, there's Bonnie. What? I don't want to do that again. I got my hand here. Oh, shoot! What? Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that. If you stick your head out that door, he does that? That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm not gonna go near there. Let's, uh, I know this one's safe. I've done it before. Uh, shoot, that was intense for night one. Dang. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think I can boop his nose up there. There's another coin here. Lockers. As you can see, though, like the textures and stuff here. Oh, I hit something. I hate when that happens. The textures are, yeah, not that great, but it's still really cool. So where's everybody at? Bonnie's in there. He's still up there. I don't know where Chica is. Chica. Wait. Oh, okay, you're right there. Yeah, we can actually peek out this one. I know this one's safe. Oh, what? Uh. Okay. Um. Let's recenter that. I don't know. Wow. I don't. That's weird. That's that's brand. I'd never seen that before. I used to be able to just stick my head right out the door. There's signs and stuff you can look at. What? Okay, note to self, never look outside the door again. Oh, let's recenter of that. Hmm. Yeah, never look outside the door again. Man, I am really close to this. Let's back up. There we go. Alright. Well, I'm not going to do that again. I was going to say, he came out way too early. Huh. There's actually a coin in here, too. If uh, At like 4 a.m., I think, the screen goes away. Alright, well, let's just play it like normal, then. Uh... No looking out the windows. That must be like a new, a new thing, because that was always really cool. Turn off. The first game is so much fun, like the real one too. It's so cool in VR though. If you haven't experienced this yet and you like these, I recommend it. Even if you get the quest, textures aren't that good. Just get it. Just try it. It's awesome. It looks so cool. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at that. It's so cool. But, I will say, for this game, definitely get it if you really want the best experience. You can get the quest too, but if you have a PC, get it on Steam that you know can handle all of this really fast and really good. Lots of RAM and stuff, good graphics card. Get that, and then get the link cord to plug it in or do whatever. There's lots of ways you can connect it. I think you can do it wirelessly now too. And then you'll have the amazing textures. I think you can do it wirelessly. I'm not 100% sure. You may not be able to, maybe if you have really good internet. But, uh, yeah. Hey. Alright. We really don't have to focus too much on night one. There's really nothing going on at all. Okay, uh, there's Chica. Bonnie is in backstage. Freddy's still on the stage. Foxy, not even peek. Oh, peek, excuse me. <sighs> yeah, it's super chill this night. I did not know that. If you stick your head out, that must be new, because when I, last time I stuck my head out, that did not happen. I don't remember an update, though. Maybe there was an update, huh? That's interesting. Either that or it's just a glitch. I don't know. You can try it for yourself, but... Okay. They must not want you leaving this area for some reason. I don't know why. Chica's in there, I think. I thought I heard... I thought I heard the pots. Oh, shoot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, Bonnie. Oh, shoot. Close that. Stop, stop. Jeez. That's always, like, really hard to do. Alright, you're there. You're there. You're there. We're good. We just gotta wait for him. See, now this game is a lot easier to tell when they're there because you can see their feet right there. Um, most of the time, like, unless you're, it's like it's really dark, you have a darkness up. You should be able to always see their feet, and you can hear it too. So I honestly think the VR version is a lot easier. And also, you're looking around, doing all this with your real hands. I feel like it's a lot easier than the real, like, real Five Nights at Freddy's 1 game. Okay. He takes him until three hours to stop talking. I always, it's always kind of cool. Like it's such a classic voice. How'd you get back there? Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get visited by anybody today. I don't know. Somebody. You gonna walk past me? Wait for there they are. 
I don't know if you can see that in the recording or not, but there's some feet there. Okay. There's uh, the TV's glitching out, and there's a coin in there. Yeah. There it is, right there. You can grab that one, too. Those are all the coins in this level, I'm pretty sure. There's one, two, three, three. Oh, shoot. Oh, ha, ha. it's so cool seeing it in VR versus, like, just the game, the picture. Oh, shoot. Oh, where'd you go? I can still see your legs there. Where are you at? Oh, you're in there. Yeah, so you can see, like, the words and stuff that... It just doesn't look the same. Oh, uh, you're walking past there. Okay, you're there. You're gone. Where's she at now? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Chica. You must. No, you can't be in there. There'd be pots and pans when you're not. Yeah, you're somewhere. Maybe you are now. Not any of those places. You're there. Oh. Oh, hey. Alright. Uh. I don't. I think he's still there. I don't know. Okay, you're there. Great. Hey, let's go. Night one. Easy. That was probably the hardest night one I've ever seen. Like. Like, with all the foxy stuff going on, that was so weird. Oh, yeah, this awesome room. Let's go. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. Oh, tongue. 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 I think I already got that guy before. I don't know if it does it again or not. I can't remember. See, uh, yeah, let's just head right into night two, honestly. We'll do two nights tonight, and then we'll... uh. And then we'll pick it up in the next one, and I'll try to finish, instead of talking so much, I'll try to finish the, uh, the whole thing, but... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the intro, like the little roller coaster ride. Oh, well, we could do that at the end of this, if that sounds fun. I forgot to do it at the beginning, but... Well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats. Oh, yeah. Uh, I won't talk quite as long this time, since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's really foxy. That's the that's the one. Yeah, and like the real game, like the real one, you got to keep looking at the Freddy camera. Like, yeah, I just keep switching between these two in the real game, and that gets uh, and that gets uh, Freddy. He will he wants you to keep looking at him. If you don't look at him, he'll move to this one. Then he move here. Then he'll move uh, here, I think. Then here, and then here, and then right at your door. So he goes in this little, this little path. So they're both out. But in this game, I think like in the hard one, you can't keep him from coming because you could just leave the camera on him the whole time if you wanted to, or you go like that. So he just shows up. You just gotta lock the door. But it's completely doable. It's not that hard. It's, even the hardest mode's not that hard. Oh, you in here already? Uh -huh. Yeah, you are. Put all the trash out there. <laughs> Nothing under there. I forgot. Wait. Yeah, no. I don't know what. That's a fire extinguisher. One more. Okay. What did I miss? Anything? Anything cool? Anything at all? Anything? Already at 2 a.m. Easy. Let's go. So cool. Yeah, see, like, some of the textures here, they look good, but then others, like, out that door, you can see those TVs, they don't, they look okay, but, like, compared to, like, the PlayStation VR and the PC VR, yeah, you really, if you, like, if you're just planning on playing this game the whole time, I'd go for those, but then again, PCs, PlayStation's really expensive. Um... Yeah, PlayStation VR and PlayStation together, that's like a, that's like a $600 deal right there. So, oh shoot, you are right there. You didn't even hesitate. Okay. There's Bonnie. Foxy's getting ready. I mostly just leave the camera on Foxy, honestly, and then keep my hand right here once he's, because he is quick. 
and then you put it on here and you can, he runs down you know you lose less power but we are fine on power yeah the real game is definitely a lot more stressful when it comes to power okay I heard something um, okay where okay that's where you are I can't find you I was like right where, where, where is he at oh shoot wait wait he's coming down he's coming down we're okay there he is all right come on foxy make your move come on man ah ah okay where you are you're coming down too really okay now we're doing get back on track again not too bad I mostly just leave the door closed until... Okay, here he comes. Come on, there he is. Uh, once I see where Bonnie is, then I... Then I move. So we should be good on him for the rest of the night, hopefully. Okay, you're back there. Did Bonnie move? Did you move, buddy? I don't know. I can't remember... Oh, yeah. I can't remember if you can, like... Let's see. Can I see? You might be able to do that. That might be your option right there. Who's walking down? Is it Chica again? Yep. All right. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Just takes a little bit of attention. Oh, Freddy's right there. See, he moved off the stage every time he makes that noise, in case you didn't know. But 2014, Final Freddy's 1 came out. Everybody knew. Everybody watched it. Nobody didn't know about it. Like, you couldn't not know about it. Like, like it's super, super popular, and it still is today. Oh, he's in there now. It's a lot harder to see in this game than it is in, in the original, but his eyes are right there. I see his little eyes. He keeps, he's moving tonight. He's going all out. Uh, there's him. You're gone. Okay. You're right there. It's so awesome to see him walk, though. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's in the kitchen. He is moving like crazy. It's okay. He's not going to make it here in time. There's no way he's going to make it. And you are good. So we should be fine just to look at you. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we get this time. Is it going to be a piece of cake? Oh, we got him. I know I already got you. Get you again. I swear I got you. I think you can get the same things again. I'm not sure. I know I don't have all the prizes. So we'll finish this video up. Am I, am I up? Okay, no. Uh, so you see this button still doesn't do anything. It'd be cool. If, uh, I saw a video of the curtains open and all that. and It was like a cool song. We'll do that in a second. Gallery, that's just, you can see all the animatronics on display. We'll probably do that at the end when we finish the whole game. Here, well, I'm really close to that. There we go. Here is the prize counter. Here's the exotic butters from this location. Do it. Give me that. That used to play a teaser for the Dreadbear thing, but that's not there anymore. So you see, we can just get whatever comes down. There we go. And then when we're done, we just put them in there. So that's cool. There's a lot. That's a lot of fun. There's a couple. There's like a tape or two there, too. All right, let's replay the title because the title is really awesome. I should have done it at the beginning, but I forgot. So we'll do it here. Oh yeah. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat? Virtual you think you're gonna go over the edge? Experience. When I first played, I thought it was gonna be a drop, but then the doors open. We know oh, yeah. that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that Ooh. some stories associated with that game is so scary, that's probably like the scariest game I've ever played. Events. I've played a ton of scary games. The majority of them were total fabrications from the <laughs> mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits they actually show his but face. That's cool. Laughing at ourselves. That's awesome. Ha, ha, My guy. Ha. That's why we have Ooh. recreated many of these completely fictitious good game. They're all such good games. So much time and thought over the last went into them. Such, so good. Into a hilarious VR game. 
in the hopes that we can finally move See, that's what those logos supposed to look like. It's not that glow. And develop a new but the one on my menu, you, the textures well just don't kids. get loaded in right. I don't know. Perfect for birthdays. So sit for back Oculus, and I'm not sure. But scares. it doesn't really matter. It still looks completely awesome. Look how cool that We do, however, ask that you agree to a single wave There's a tape right here, by the way, when you first play. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transfers, <laughs> real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. That's fun. It's just, it's like, also, there's all these extra side effects, and, you know, you could die and stuff, but whatever, you know, it's not that big a deal. You know, all right, well, that's going to do it for this. Uh, we played the first two nights. We'll pick up night three, four. And then uh, mm, I think we'll move on to the next one because we'll do the nightmare ones all in one go once we finish all these. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you Lamas, in the next one.